Right, welcome everyone. Um, this is our fourth day during our five day stop smoking program, and it's the third session. Um, so, we are um, going to dive into the schedule uh, for your next 24 hours uh, before you come for the fifth session. Now, we'll, as usual, just share um, the program um for the next few hours in your day now the end hours you're entering into are definitely different you're feeling different and hopefully you're gaining more victories and in many cases this may actually be your first full day your first full 24 hours of overcoming in many cases um the uh, the, the cigarette intake of the first few days would have gradually been going down um, um, as, as you endeavor to overcome but learn how to how to deal with the different circumstances but now day number four becomes special in that you, your body has been getting a, a rid getting rid of many toxins and so some of the uh, chemical reactions in your body that cause you to want uh, things like nicotine for example uh, your body is becoming less nicotine dependent the more you you resist the urge to to smoke also you have been strengthening your willpower you have been uh, strengthening your ability to say no to temptations um, you've also learned how to uh, overcome cravings that come through so this has this may have taken time uh, and different you may have stumbled along the way but as you have been going through the days, learning to trust in Jesus, calling upon his name and taking active steps to cooperate with him, uh, you have becoming more and more successful. In other cases, others uh, may have earlier victories from the day that they made a decided step to stop smoking. It's very possible. It's happened uh, many times before where someone decides to stop and that's it. They stop without taking another smoke before. So each person is different. Each person has a different walk, but the finishing line is the same. We are going to stop smoking. And uh, by now you have these advantages. Your body has less, has been getting rid of toxins. You have strengthened your will and you've learned how to deal uh, with uh, uh, temptations and when cravings strike. Now, please read those points again and again. And continue to repeat the word, I choose not to smoke because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's your choice, it's your decision, and Christ will provide the power, which you can claim in every given situation. So each day, begin with a cold mitten infection, get your two glasses of water. Your fourth day is not going to be any different. Make sure that your diet is high in your B vitamins. Get your molasses um take in your molasses get your whole grains these things are high in your b vitamins make sure that you get your lemon water throughout the day and also remember to strengthen your partner the other uh, smoker who is taking steps to be smoke free call them up send them an app send them an um a whatsapp audio whatever form of communication you're having Please get hold of them, strengthen them. Uh, they may really need to hear from you. And also keep in touch with the non-smoker who is there to encourage you. Always know that Jesus is there to give you power to break free from the tobacco habit. It's your choice to continue to choose to refuse to be a slave to tobacco. I choose not to smoke. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me is our motto. Right. Um, you can read um, some of the other elements in this schedule. Please, if you don't have this schedule by now, please contact us. Um, our contact details uh, were put at the end of the second session. Email us, get hold of us on social media, um, WhatsApp us, and we'll be able to send you this PDF with the different um, schedules for each and every day. We are on day number four. You may have headaches and headaches are withdrawal symptoms. We've covered that already. 
and we pray that you are learning how to deal with these different headaches. Uh, if there is still craving, uh, please look at the different items that we've mentioned that uh, may trigger cravings, the, the, the food that you eat, uh, having people who smoke still around you, um, have you washed your clothes, have you washed your curtains, but also the certain condiments such as mustard, black pepper, a horse uh, radish that can actually trigger uh, your craving for a cigarette. So please be careful about the things that you eat. You are being recreated a new experience. Old things are passing away. This is symbolic of what can actually happen in your heart. Not only can you be set free from tobacco, not only can you be set free from the enslaving, health-destroying elements of cigarettes, but the journey you're taking can also uh, go further and deeper. You can be set free from guilt. Anything in your life that is causing you to feel guilty, it, you can begin a new life of a new uh, a restart with uh, family members who you are now estranged with. Um, maybe you are estranged to your wife or to your husband, maybe your child, uh, you and your child have had a painful period of late. Maybe you are in a jail cell and you um, uh, know that you have made a big mistake, you engaged in crime or you've come, just come out of jail and you're starting all over again. You can have a new start not only in stopping smoking, you, you can have a new start, even if your business is closed or you've just lost a job, you can have a new start in your life. If you accept Jesus in, in your life, as you overcome tobacco, know that there is no situation in which you cannot begin again. You can start afresh, you can have a new beginning. How? By calling upon Jesus to take charge of your life and to help you you can experience a new creation. Now, back to uh, the keeping our goal in mind, we keep mentioning that you need to keep focusing on the positives. There is no endeavor, there's no challenge that can be adequately overcome simply by, um, simply by trying to avoid the painful things. You need to look at the positives. The, the, the student studies hard because he will be focusing on getting good grades to become a doctor, become an engineer. Uh, the, 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 the artist continuously learns to play the instrument because in their mind, one day they're going to play that favorite piece of song that they enjoy. The, the carpenter continues to practice, continues to go to the workshop. He may mess up one chair or another table, but he does not give up because in his mind, he has a goal that keeps him going. He wants to be an excellent carpenter. So here in smoking, please ever keep in mind the positives of overcoming tobacco, avoiding cancer and heart attacks, the many diseases, even infertility uh, has been resulted and linked to smoking. These things can be avoided. Premature skin wrinkles, you can save money. You can get rid of that smell and you can have better fresh breath. You can be an example for others. You just the sense of being in control of your life. There's many, many things that you can keep thinking of to keep you motivated, to keep on the good fight. And this skill that you're acquiring now, continue it in every aspect of your life. Even in the spiritual aspect, when the going is tough, when doing the right seems to be a challenge, when being a good forgiving person seems to be uh, a challenge where you are taken advantage of, always keep in mind that there is a reward uh, at the end. Keep focused um, at the reward that will encourage you in the different endeavors of your life. I want to remind you to keep exercising, keep exercising um, every single day where possible, um, especially when you're trying to overcome uh, the tobacco habit on eating, Eat breakfast like a king, eat lunch like a prince, and at night, eat like a pauper. Don't have heavy meals at night. You can do this. You can overcome. You choose to stop smoking, and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Look at your information sheet. 
uh, fill in your information sheet uh, by God's grace. By now, you're noticing a vast difference from what you feel in, in day number four as compared to day number one. And this is clear evidence that you are on the path of victory because of the power that Christ gives you. So may the Lord bless you. Tomorrow we meet again for our last day, day number five. So thank you for joining us um, until we meet again tomorrow. God bless. May the Lord strengthen you in your fourth day in your battle against smoking. Good night.